Diabetes is a metabolic disease in which the body cannot produce enough insulin, thus resulting in a high blood sugar level. Insulin and glucagon are two molecules that work opposite each other to keep the body's blood sugar level at a constant safe level. Insulin induces the body to take glucose out of the bloodstream and store it, thus lowering blood sugar levels, while glucagon causes the liver to release stored glucose from cells into the blood, thus raising blood sugar levels. The synthesis of insulin begins with a precursor, preproinsulin, which is produced in the beta cells of the pancreas. It is converted to proinsulin and then mature insulin. Glucagon is produced in the pancreatic alpha cells. The insulin signaling pathway begins when an insulin molecule binds to a tyrosine kinase insulin receptor. This activates it and causes dimerization. Then, one of the many signal transduction proteins causes a vesicle of glucose transporters to bind to the cell membrane, thus allowing glucose to move out of the bloodstream into the cell. The glucagon signaling pathway starts with the liver, where the glucose is stored in the form of the polysaccharide glycogen. Glucagon begins with the pathway by binding to a special protein receptor called a G-protein coupled receptor, or GPCR. This activates a change in the structure, which leads to the activation of a G-protein, which has three subunits, alpha, beta, and gamma. However, when the G-protein binds to the GPCR, the GDP molecule that was on the alpha subunit is substituted with a higher energy GDP molecule, which causes the alpha subunit to detach. The alpha subunit then activates the next enzyme in the cascade, adenylyl cyclase, which produces cyclic AMP, or CAMP, which then triggers a cascade that results in glycogen being broken down into glucose and transported out of the cell. Type 1 diabetes can be hereditary, but it can also be caused by environmental factors like food toxins or viral infections. It usually develops during winter as diseases like mumps and rubella are more prevalent. For example, congenital rubella is associated with beta cell destruction. Type 2 diabetes can be hereditary, but it can also develop when a person is overweight or not exercising regularly.